First tonight, new information on that cold case we mentioned off the top of the show. A local family gets some closure after Daniel Tavares is indicted on the murder of Gail Botello back in 1988. Eyewitness News was there in 2000 when police unearthed her remains at a house Tavares used to live at. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy joins us now from the southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom with more details now. Tonight to find out new information about the now accused murderer, Daniel Tavares, we're learning he's no stranger to crime. 25 years after police say Gail Patello was stabbed and buried across the street from where she lived, her Fall River neighbor, Daniel Tavares, has been indicted and accused of killing her. 25 years, yes, it's a long time, but to me it was just yesterday this happened because she's my, she was my sister, she'll always be my sister. Detectives say a witness revealed new information recently, which led investigators to Tavares. Sometimes people just decide to do the right thing at the right time, and that's how these cases come together. Eyewitness News has learned he is currently serving a life sentence in Washington State for killing a young couple in 2007. He's also convicted of manslaughter in the 1991 death of his mother. Now we have a saying in law enforcement that we speak for those who cannot speak for themselves, and I, I think today we speak for Gail, all of us here, and all of you. The victim's youngest daughter doesn't remember her mother, but it doesn't make it any easier to hear how her mother was killed and buried, only to have her remains discovered 12 years after her disappearance. We've always had her there with us in spirit. We spoke to the homeowner, homeowners tonight, uh, the suspect and victim, who tell us that they had no idea there was a murder there before purchasing the homes. Reporting with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Mar Kennedy, Eyewitness News.